So please be aware, guys, that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video. And today, guys, I'm going to explain to you a very, a very important part of the game, which I know many people may be confused about, and it's the runes. What they do, what they are, how you get them, how they basically set the ground for your character, your build, absolutely everything. They are super important. And today I will explain everything you need to know. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so whether you're just interested in things you can do to upgrade your character, make him more powerful, uh, or you're just curious or you're not sure, you're confused about runes, today I have you covered. Do not worry. Okay, so let's start. Just want to let you know as well, guys, this character is a maxed out character, uh, which I've been given to actually use. So yeah, keep that in mind. When you first start playing the game, you're not going to have any of the runes that I have. You're not going to have... Well, I'll, I'll explain as we go doesn't really matter okay so runes are things you apply to your build which affect your playstyle we have a descendant rune runes you can apply which affect your character we also have weapon runes these are there's five we have storm which you can see these runes when i apply them to all these slots here which again you will not start with seven slots you'll start with like four or five maybe you also will not start with this capacity up here which i'll explain exactly what this is but the storm rune affects the submachine guns assault rifles and handguns Torrent, uh, machine guns, tactical rifles and beam rifles. Wave is hand cannons and scouts. Hand cannons are absolutely beast in this game, by the way. We have uh, the Thunder Room, which affects snipers and launchers. We also have a Haze, which affects shotguns. If it's highlighted in green, it means you have that weapon equipped. And that's really what you want to uh, concentrate on. If you've got a build using three of your favorite weapons, you, you only really want to mess with the runes, which affect the weapons you are using. It's no point in messing around with a thunder one if you ain't using a sniper okay so storm room we have seven slots here we've got one with an icon which i'll explain in a second what that does but don't worry about that for now okay so an empty room site you click on this guys and you'll have in here runes that you've found you've looted you've been rewarded whatever and what these runes do these affect those said weapons so what this does here is um attack is a plus five Obviously, the, the high rarity they go from rare to epic to legendary, the better they become and the, the, be <laughs> the more things they offer. But what they also do, guys, is to take up more of that capacity. It's quite a simple system, to be honest. Uh, if one's got a, a 12 next to its name, if I select it, it takes 12 of the 35 capacity. I've also I've now really only got 23 to mess around with in regards to other things, other runes I can apply, which affect said weapons. Now, as you can see here, guys, this one I just select the brisk walk. I'm going to unequip this. See this icon here, which I'll explain exactly how you do this as well. If I apply that same one there, guys, you can see it takes half, half of its capacity because it's the same icon, same symbol is off as that as what I have in this slot. Quite straightforward again. Now you need materials to actually apply these uh, special symbols and I'll go and showcase to you a vendor where you do all this in a minute. But yes, like I said, you have a rune capacity of 35. You collect runes, they all offer individual things, perks, benefits to weapons. And there's quite a few good ones as well. Like look at this one here, an enemy kill. Attack is a plus 40% for 10 seconds and its effect stacks three times. That is absolutely brutal. It really is. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to apply a couple more. Um, let's put this one on. Doesn't really matter. Try and fill up all the slots. Use a, a few low ones. Uh, let's just go down here. Let's put you on. Let's put you on. There we go. Put you on. I'm not sure we got. We ain't got much space left, to be honest. Doesn't really matter. I've got another three here. I don't think we have a four. I'll put another three on. Don't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Put you on. As you can see now, I've got one slot spare. I could put an, I don't think there's one that offers just a one. No, nothing takes up one space, but don't matter. Okay, so we've got six basically buffs here, which affect two of the weapons I'm using. And they're these weapons here. Assault rifle and submachine gun. So all those runes, all those buffs that I have applied to the stone rune affect these said weapons. Now, like I said, there's no point in using 
any of these, applying these. It doesn't do anything in regards to limiting capacity of other runes. It doesn't matter. These, these, uh, this obviously this capacity is tied to said rune. So, but there's no point in really messing with this if you ain't actually using a weapon which is effects. Simple as that. And there we have it, guys. It really is that simple. Hey's rune effects shotgun. I've got a, a shotgun equipped. I can apply all these if I want to. Your night goes, your night goes. Simple as that. Quite easy. Okay, so let's move down to the descender route. This is where things get interesting. You can see I've got another symbol here. It looks like a C. Click on that. If I find one with a C on it, you can see this here. On enemy kill, 11.2% chance to reset skill with the longest cooldown. Now that is pretty cool. So if I apply that, you can see it goes down to 4 of 40. Nice. You can make some crazy things here. You can make some absolute crazy things here. Running speed plus 5.6 damage immune when using grab a hook. Put that on as well. But you can see, you don't want to put that in that slot because I saw what happened there, guys. That's a 5. But you put it on a, say, let me just unequip that. The different symbol, you'll put this one there. In that symbol, it, it basically uses more capacity, which is, it kind of makes sense. So be wise in what you're doing and, the, and these symbols when you apply them. Be careful. Okay, so we also have melee attack rune. And these again, you will find like every other rune or you'll be rewarded. This down your van. This is actually a button on Xbox controller. It's um, tied to both bumpers at the same time. Simple as that. Okay, so there your runes there, what they do, it's quite a straightforward system to be honest. But you can also, guys, edit them, upgrade them, combine them, all kinds of things. Now there's a vendor in the tower, his name is Cillian. I don't think it will show you on the map exactly. Oh, you can see where I'm right here. There you go, you spawn in there, run down here. But you'll come across this dude anyway, in a story, it sends you here. So, okay, so we can enhance runes with this dude. Important though, important, I should show you this. We need some uh, consumables, some crafting things. These you can find or be rewarded. This one right here, guys, a crystallized arch extracted from Descendant's body it can be used to change rune socket color. Now, the rune socket color is that symbol. I don't know what it calls it, a rune socket color. I must have skipped that tool tip. I don't know, but that's what it does. We also have, guys, an energy activator device that reacts to arch and archive. Does that say archive? I think so. It amplifies energy for rune socket. Now, you'll see what these are needed for. Okay, so enhance a rune. Now this takes some materials. Don't get twisted. Any of these guys, you can. It takes a while to get equipped. But hey, if I click on this, you can see I can plus it. Look at that. Look at that. It takes down how much capacity it uses, which is pretty cool. Actually very, very helpful. So enhancing this rune, it will use a lot of my gold. I've got, got plenty of spare. And a lot of this quilly pothium, does that say? I can't pronounce anything, guys. I can barely pronounce my own name, but yeah. But either way, you can level up these if you want to. I don't really want to enhance this, but hey. Mastery 5 as well. You need to have a mastery. Um, if you don't know about your mastery level, I'll quickly explain that as well. You have a normal level, which is this. But your mastery level, your mastery rank, you also gain XP. And you go to this place in the... I keep calling it the tower. It's not the tower. <laughs> it's not the ageless reach here you can spend your xp and you can level up that mastery rank and this unlocks many many things which help in regards to runes so yes if you want to enhance your runes this is where you come to upgrade them i don't think you can downgrade them no, you can't downgrade them don't know what it's there but yeah you can upgrade them and this one here actually this one changes quite a lot wow look at that on the weapon in use by a hundred percent chance that's actually pretty cool and what did you do i know you went down in capacity is that all you do yeah you don't actually change you don't actually enhance which is good they do go down in capacity so that's quite cool so yeah as you can see a lot of these things upgrade oh man there's so much you can do looking at it now i mean i had a look at these i know exactly what i'm doing with ruins but there's so much thing so much you can do I guarantee you this ain't nowhere near what will be on offer in a full game as well. Craziness. Okay, so that's it. Enhance runes. If you want to dismantle a rune, you can do that too. Should we do it? I don't even know what it does, but we'll try it anyway. 
let's go down to over there because I ain't dismantling anything else. Do you, is that all you get? So that's that's what you get. I dismantle this, I get a hundred of that. So if you, I guess, if you're looting, yeah, just farming, and you got plenty of ruins you don't need, I'm guessing you can just dismantle them and get that loot, get that uh, material. Simple as that. Oh, it makes that's quite cool. Okay, so combining runes, combining runes, guys. This one is wild. We're gonna go back down. I'm not gonna use uh, my best ones. I'm just gonna click on this, click on that, click on that, click on that. Now, I'm, see, this is one thing I'm not exactly sure how this works. I mean, what it's combined. Do I get a random one out of this? The higher the rarity, the higher the, the better the rune. Does it give me a better rune? I'm not even sure. So if I do that, I get a firearm manager, which is one I ain't got, which is cool. Weapon changing speed is plus 10.1%. I don't think that had any correspondence to the four I put into it, so it must be random. It must be random what it combined them for, which is good. It's like a random thingy, which is actually one I ain't got. So that's quite cool. I like that. I like that. That's a wave one. It's a wave five arm manager. Nice. Okay, so we also, guys, we can apply rune socket type. And this is what I was talking about. I don't know what the Japanese means there, but hey, so if I select this, I can then select that. I can apply that socket. This will use, guys, that material. Just like bam. And now I can go and apply a rune there with that actual... With the uh, icon next to it. And it will just drop that capacity quite a lot. I mean, I can have bigger and better things in other slots, which is cool as well. That's basically what it does. You can do this on each and every one as long as you've got enough of the, uh, the material. Now, which material was that? It's this one here. The arch. Is that say arch? Archy crystal? That's what that one does. That's what that one does. Okay, let's go back to him. Max own capacity increase. So this is what the energy activator that consumed bullets for. This one here. Um, so if I want to increase my stone runes, I'll put even more there. Bigger and better ones there. And to use one of these. Same. It works for each and every one. I got a... Uh, at the minute, I got 35 on all my... Weapon runes. But on my descendant rune, I've got 40. I can increase this to a 52, which is cool too. Do your characters just get bigger, better, and stronger as you play? It, it really is that crazy. It's that simple. But there's a lot to do here. A lot to think about. A lot to level up. I mean, it's just, there's so much to do, people. There's so much to do. Let's find a C here. There we go. An enemy kill. 10% chance to recover. 10% of special resource immediately that's quite cool there we go equip that using half the capacity nice that's basically that's what you need to know guys if you have any questions you can always hit me up down below but you probably best uh message me on twitter uh which is linked down below too but there we have it guys and well hopefully i explained all and you're not as confused as you were before tuning into the video guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more the first to send it be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one